Hello. We will first go over the external features of alien life form number B312 given to the shuttle lab just a few hours ago. We examined the exterior for a while now, and what we learned is that this part, which we nicknamed the mantle, is covered with brown spots that helps this life form camouflage to its surroundings. As you can see, it forms a peak at the top, but the mantle doesn't extend to the back. These flappy fins are nicknamed dorsals and seem to be used for swimming. As we move down to the lower region, we can see 10 appendages sticking out. Two of them seem to be longer, so we assume it should be similar to our arms. The remaining 8 tentacles are determined to have the same use as our legs, but clearly for different environments. Let's start cutting these bad boys off in order to get to the inside. As we can see from the cutting, a mask-like organ is appearing as well as a semi-interior beak, like organ. This beak could have been used to burrow for a grub or attack enemies. Got it. There we go. As you can see, a tube extrudes from the mouth and leads into the body. It is something similar to a human esophagus. Let's move this to a wax tray for convenience. Let's open this alien up. Okay. So we have to be very delicate here since its organs are just underneath. Let's lift it up while cutting carefully. There we go. God, I can just eat that right now. Now that black strip right there seems to be a sack of black ink-like liquid. This could be a way to escape predators. Careful when you touch it though, it could very much be highly acidic and basically just dissolve your hand. These organs to the side appear to be gill-like and used to absorb oxygen or whatever this creature needs to operate. These organs must be used for its metabolic needs in order to keep living, such as our human heart for the circulatory system. These appear to be reproductive glands near the top. It seems to have three heart-like liquid pumping organs. One is in the middle and is bigger. The other two seem smaller and stem off to the gill-like organs. Now what do we have under here? Start cutting very gently underneath. It seems to be a hard piece of bone that kind of holds everything together. Wow. Overall, this dissection showed the range of organs this creature uses to live. It's amazing to see the similarities between our own body and this alien. Incredible.